All right, all right. Here we go. Mr. Longo here to teach you a little bit about segment bisectors and midpoints. Um, basically, bisectors and midpoints do the same thing. They cut segments into two congruent pieces. Um, in other words, they just cut segments in half. So if you have a segment that's 10 units long and it gets bisected or there's a midpoint, it's just going to cut it into five and five. So you're going to have two five unit segments that are going to make up a 10 unit segment. Now, another way you can say, like, you can say that there's a midpoint, a bisector. Also, you can also look for tick marks. If there are the same number of tick marks on two or more different segments, that means that the segments have the same length. Okay? Uh, in the other example, we have one of the little segments is 14. Well, since these are going to be midpoint and bisector problems, that means this guy is also 14, which means the big segment is 28. So there's a couple of different ways you can look at these problems. Um, but if you think about it in simple terms, if you have a midpoint or a bisector, the little piece will equal the other little piece. Or two times the little piece will equal the big segment. Okay? That's basically what's going to happen here. So let's take a look at a couple of questions. Um, I'm going to do two of them step by step for you, and then I'm going to pause the video, or I'm going to tell you to pause the video and try two of them on your own. All right, let's do this. First example, M is a midpoint of AB. So that means M is smack dab in the middle, and we have a little piece, and we have the whole thing. And you can see that we have two pieces that are going to be congruent. So you can do this a couple of different ways. You can use segment addition, and you can actually write out that this little segment is also 2x plus 4. And then you can add those two segments together and say 2x plus 4 plus 2x plus 4 is equal to the big segment, 6x minus 12. The other way you can do it is by using 2 times the little segment is equal to the big segment. So you can say 2 times 2x plus 4 is equal to the big segment 6x minus 12. Either way you do it, it doesn't make a difference. You distribute your 2, you're still going to have 4x plus 8, either way you look at it, is equal to 6x minus 12. So that means 20 is equal to 2x, so x is equal to 10. Now that you know x is equal to 10, we have to find the length of segment MB. To do that, you just substitute 10 into the expression that represents MB. So 2 times 10 is 20, plus 4 is 24. All right? So that's how you solve one of these where you're given a little part and the whole thing. Uh, the next example covers where you have two little pieces. You have the little segment on the left and the little one on the right. Now, this says CD bisects AB at M. So CD is the segment bisector, but M is technically going to be the midpoint because that's where the segment gets cut in half. Okay? So when you have two little pieces, you know that this little piece on the left is going to be equal to this little piece on the right, which means those little pieces must be equal if M is a midpoint or the segment is bisected. Therefore, all you have to do is set them equal to each other. So the left side is going to be equal to the right side. And you're already ready to solve. So this is going to give you 4x is equal to 12, so x equals 3. So we know the value of x. We want to find the length of the whole thing from a all the way to b. So you have to substitute x into the expressions. So AM is 7 times 3 minus 3, which is going to give you 18 for AM. And 3 times 3 is 9, plus 9 is also 18. So 18 plus 18 is 36. All right? That's how you work with segment bisectors and midpoints. So as I mentioned, I did two. Now it's your turn. What I would like you to do is pause the video try both of these on your own and as soon as you are done click play and the answers will magically appear 
and we'll see how you did. See? Magically appeared. So check your answers to see if you did this correctly. Uh, for number three, this was an example of where you have the little piece, MN, and the full segment, MO. So you just had to double the little piece, or you could have done segment addition, 3x minus 4 plus 3x minus 4. Either way you do it, you're going to end up with 6x minus 8 is equal to the full segment, 8x minus 20. Solve for x and you get 6. Substitute 6 back into the expression 3x minus 4, and you will end up with 14. Therefore, NO is also going to be 14 because MN and NO are congruent, or the same length. Number 4, you had to draw your own diagram first. So it says M is the midpoint of CD, so C and D have to be the endpoints with M in the middle. And then this is an example where you have a little piece and a little piece. Since M is the midpoint, uh, these are congruent. So you just had to set them equal to each other, solve for X, substitute it back into C, M, and M, D. You should get 66 for both pieces, which means you add them together, and you have C, D with a length of 132. All right, if you got both of those, great job. Pat yourself on the back. You're doing well. Uh, if you have any questions about that, make sure you ask in class. Last one is a challenge question. Now, it's not that much difference from what we just did, except for now we have a double midpoint problem. B is the midpoint of AC, and C is the midpoint of the biggest segment, AD. And you are given that AB is 2x plus 1, and AD is 10x minus 12. Um, again, I'd like you to try this on your own. Go ahead and pause the video. As soon as you're ready, click play, and this time I will go through this step by step just so you know what's going on. Give it a try. Okay, so you have two parts right here, but C is the midpoint of the whole thing AD. So if AC is half, of the whole thing AD, if it helps you, you can throw in just a random point over there and pretend that CD has a midpoint as well. And what you'll see now is the full segment A all the way to D is made up of four little parts. So now you have a couple of ways you can do this problem. So we have a little piece and we can say that this is also 2x plus 1, this is also 2x plus 1, and this is also 2x plus 1. Or, since the big segment is made up of four little parts, you can just multiply the little part, 2x plus 1, by 4, and set it equal to the large segment, AD, which is 10x minus 12. Okay? Distribute, so you're going to have 8x plus 4 is equal to... 10x minus 12, solve, and you're going to end up with 16 is equal to 2x, which means x is equal to 8. So you substitute 8 into x, and now you have to find from b all the way to d, which is three parts of the segment. So you take 8, substitute it into one of the little parts, so 2 times 8 plus 1, is going to give you 17. So AB is 17, BC is 17, this is 17, and this is 17. So we're going to go from B all the way to D. And that's going to give you a segment length of 17 plus 17 plus 17, which is 51. That's it for this video. If you got that, you're a rock star. This is Longo and I'm out. See you, bye.